How's it going everyone? This is Tanner and welcome to episode 1 of Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke edition here. Um, so for those of you who don't know what a Nuzlocke is, uh, let me give you a little, little quick explanation. Um, a Nuzlocke is like a regular Pokemon run, except for the uh, big difference of there's some very strict rules. Uh, the rules are as followed. If a Pokemon faints, that Pokemon is considered dead. <laughs> so it starts off pretty morbid, I think. Uh, the Pokemon is considered dead, meaning that um, it, it has to either be released, or in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to store it in a box just so we can keep track of uh, what we've lost. Uh, rule number two is we can only capture the first Pokemon in each area. Uh, meaning that the first wild encounter of each zone, of each route, of each, you know, general area, that is the only Pokemon we can capture there. The only Pokemon we can use, and that Pokemon must be nicknamed. Must be nicknamed. If it's not nicknamed, if me and my absent-mindedness ap accidentally skips the nickname portion, that Pokemon cannot be used, and it is considered a failure. There will be no duplicate Pokemon, so if I go into Route 101 and capture Pokemon X, and then go into Route 102 and I capture Pokemon Y, that's good. Go in and capture two Pokemon Xs, not gonna happen. So, the rules are a little flexible there. Um, no capturing legendaries, uh, no using the Safari Zone, um, and only using, at, um, at very most, two healing items per battle. That is the maximum that we can have. Um, other than that, the last rule was to pick my starter, and as you can see, I've skipped all that intro stuff in Pokemon Ruby, uh, because it's a lot of talking, a lot of boring stuff, and that would just take too long. So I picked my starter, and the starter that you use in a Nuzlocke is based on your trainer ID. If your trainer ID ends in 1, 2, or 3, you get Grass type, ends in 4, 5, or 6, you get Fire type, and ends in 7, 8, or 9, you get the water type. It ends in 0, you get to pick. But I'm lucky, because mine ends in 4, meaning that I got myself a Torchic, who I have named Sanders. He is a colonel. You get it? Alright. So I'm using an emulator here, so if you're wondering about the lack of game audio, um, it's because I don't want to annoy you all. So let's capture our first Pokemon, which is a Zigzagoon. Awesome. So, let's capture our Zigzagoon here. And let's name him... Oh, Pokedex. Let's name him... Ziggy. <laughs> His name is Ziggy. Let's take a look at Ziggy. Ziggy is a boy, and Ziggy is timid, 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 timid. Isn't that faster and downs attack? I'm not sure if Zigzagoon is actually a... doesn't matter, so let's put him out front. Um, I'm going to skip ahead in the video here because I'm about to grind, um, and I'm going to get Ziggy up to level 6, so here we go. Alright, so we got... Ziggy up to level 5 that there. An item. It, it has the pickup ability. Well, what'd you pick up? Oh! Oh dear! I think I like Ziggy. Alright. Well, Ziggy has given us a super potion. Ziggy is free. Well, let's take a look in all these houses here. Yeah. Intriguing. Okay, well, let's grab a couple potions and then head on over to the next route. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and get ourselves our third Pokemon. Hopefully it's not a Zigzagoon because that means I can't use it. Nope, not Pokeball. Potion. Alright, let's, let's, let's... Capture Pokemon number three. Y'all ready for this? And Pokemon number three is going to be a uh, C dot. 
Not familiar with C dot. C dot. Well, you know what? C dot. C dot has a little hat that reminds me of a cartoon character. So I'm gonna call C dot because it is a female. Meg. Awesome. There we go. So we got a C dot. C dot named Meg. Um, it's timid. You know, it's Biden Harden. Oh, you're gonna be fun to level. <laughs> All right. Well, once again, I'm gonna cut while I grind because nobody wants to see that. And here we go. And we are done grinding. We got Meg up to level 5. That took a lot longer than I thought. Um, and Sanders actually went up to level 8 there. So I think we should be good for the next little bit. Considering now it's time for our first battle. Ready? 1, 2, 3, go! Can't say no to my challenge. Game doesn't let me. A zigzagoon. Well, I'm going to send out Sanders to scratch your face. Scratch your face! <sighs> Die! There we go. Meg leveled up. Meg appears to be very defensive, very bulky. You know the trainer? There we go. Bug type Pokemon. Bug type Pokemon. Just keep leveling Meg. Meg has to turn to something cool. I hope. Ooh, Sanders dinged. Alright, well, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and get Sanders uh, a Band-Aid. So far, so good, I think. I still haven't made it to the first town, though, which is a little... A very, very distressing. But, I think we're doing okay. Oh, wonderful. Another trainer battle. Poochiana. What happens if I bide? Ooh. Wow, not bad. Learn growth. Taylor's not a bug type Pokemon, you liar. There we go. Oh, you're a youngster on Bug Catcher. I wasn't paying attention. Berry time, Orin Berries. And Petcha Berries. Petcha Berries. Let's plant the Petcha. And let's plant an Auron. All right. Damn it. What the hell is a seed out? What does it turn into? Are you the Prevo of Nuzleaf? Is that what you are? Is that what it is? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm silly. Um. How did Meg get more level than Ziggy? Alright. Go, Ziggy, go! Boop a doop boop a zig 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 gagoon. Ooh. Seems like an intense battle. Go, Ziggy, go! That was scary. Damn C-Dots. I found one potion. Alright, so we're in the next town. And I think uh, we're, do we're off to a good start. Um, <laughs> nothing overly interesting has happened. Um, but, 
but I believe it's time for me to talk to my dad. So for those who don't know, I'm Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, the main protagonist's father is actually a gym leader. Well, if it isn't Tanner, so you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here all by yourself. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for your support. You're such a supportive dad. You're there all the time. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Do I hear resentment in your text? Hmm, then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me. No, I'll never be like you. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Liar. Um, I'd, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. I will take one Pokemon. Hmm, you're, uh, oh right, you're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdanturf. Verdanturf? Like, green ground? Okay. Verdanturf town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Tanner, you heard that, right? Am I freaking deaf, father? God damn. Go with Wally and make sure he safely catches a Pokemon. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let me get this right here. You don't live at home, but the moment I come and visit you, you get to boss me around. <sighs> Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Oh, yeah, you'll loan you freaking stranger your Pokemon. What a great dad. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Oh, yeah, giving him gifts. I just only, you know, cross to the next town. Wally received a Pokeball. Oh, wow, thank you. Tanner, would you really come with me? I don't have a choice. And this is where Wally catches a Pokemon. I guess. Oh, he catches a Ralts. With a level 7 Zigzagoon. My Zigzagoon's better. Aren't you, Ziggy? Ralts was caught. I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Yes. Yes, it is, Wally. Good for you. Tanner, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Yeah, let's. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Tanner, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I, I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Tanner. Now. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Tanner, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day. Well, why? Am I not good enough for you yet? Oh, yeah, I'm not strong enough. Yeah. I don't like my father. <laughs> In game. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Route 104. Alright. Ready? Time to catch Pokemon number four. Pokemon number four is going to be... Uh, duplicate. Nope. Pokemon number four is going to be... I'm seeing a pattern here. You know what? Let's consider this one area and just catch the next one in the forest up there. All right. Oh, I'm not a trainer. Oh. You're not... You're a trainer. Wonderful. Ooh. See, that's getting hard. That's gonna hurt. Thank goodness. Level 6 Ziggy. Well, that's gonna be a fighting type move. He's up to level 7. Sanders up there pretty high, too. Uh, <laughs> Sanders in the sand. I right. better go and heal because I got that. They got critted me. Where's that guy where I can buy a Magikarp? More berries! He has lots of money, and he only has a raccoon Pokemon. Lots of money apparently buys you a raccoon, kids. Remember that. You really just full restore on a level 7? That's almost depressing. Ziggy? Ziggy? 
Ziggy? Ziggy's dead. Well, on that note, I think it's time to end the episode. And with that, we put Ziggy in his permanent resting spot. Goodbye, Ziggy. You will be missed. And with that, I think it's time to end the episode. Um... Yeah. That's depressing. Well, until next time, guys. This has been Tanner. And I'm backpedaling out of here. Oh, Ziggy.